I bet you're wondering how the best place in the world get in the real magic shape and impact. Get so open, so tilted to get that pure contact and that effortless looking pure strikes every single time. Today I'm going to share with you two drills that you can do at home or at the range potentially that are going to help you move this way. They're going to encourage you to improve your movement. Whether you're any shape or size or any flexibility, it will improve your movement. It's going to make you move your mechanics in better places to allow you to get more pressure on the ball, achieve better dynamics so you don't come over the top and you get to hit that club or hit that ball from the inside with the pressure we want every single time. Can do this one at home or you need to do it at home you need a door so take a golf stance one foot in one room one foot in the other room lean your head into the architrave of the door put the door against your hip make a backswing so we feel we turn pretty much into the second room here on the right hand side keeping our head in the architrave it can move a fraction but keeping it on the architrave to stay in posture and from there feel that we're going to push the door open with our Left glute, keeping our head where it is, keeping our tilts, continuing then to push the door open with our left hip and glute. So we're feeling that we're rolling our feet, we're opening our hips while staying in posture. This will get us creating X-factor stretch in the downswing, get us to rotate and open our lower half while staying in our tilts and posture to guarantee contact. Great drill, this one. Let's do that again. So door against the left hip. Nice big turn, trying to stay centered, trying to stay in our posture. Push the door open, stay in our tilts, and rotate through. And you can come just away from the architrave in the very end of the swing. You can try and stay in the architrave if you want to in the finish. But let your head and eyes rotate. Slightly away is absolutely fine. So drill number two involves two alignment rods. You can use obviously wood dowel, but two alignment rods is easy for me because I have them here and they're obviously easy to maneuver around. So you can take one rod and place it through your bell loops. Leave it sticking out the trail side. Take the second rod, put it across your chest, cross your arms over like so and stick it out the trail side too. Now, if we move successfully in the downswing, these rods will cross. So what's happened there is my lower half has rotated and relocated. My trail half is right side bended to create that contact. Now, if I either don't rotate my lower half, there's no crossing. If I move my lower half, but don't right side bend, there's no crossing. So if I was imagine coming over the top, I'm never gonna make these rods touch each other or cross. So in order to make it successful, these wanna be making contact just before impact. And if you do a few reps, you'll feel it. I can feel that down my lower right side, which shows to me that I probably don't right side bend enough in my golf swing, which from looking at my golf swing, I'd say is pretty true. I need to right side bend earlier to achieve a better impact position. I tend to not rotate as much as I want, and I tend to get a bit steep. So those two things are magic moves for me to change. So doing this drill regularly should make a difference to my golf swing. The other thing you can look at when you're doing this is your trail elbow. So the trail elbow should get into this kind of position. You'll see here how it's trapped between the two rods. And if I get my trail hand point to the floor, I'm practicing the dynamics I want through impact, just like this, these moves. Right side pressure on the golf ball with the right side bend. So it gives me pure contact, hitting down on the golf ball, de-lofting that club, hitting those pressured iron shots, ball and turf every single time, it'll help that. If obviously I come over the top, you'll see the moves are quite drastically different. Have a go with these rods and post down below in the comments how you found it, where you feel it in your body, and how much it starts to make you feel like you need to move differently to hit different shots. So I hope you've enjoyed those two what I call magic moves. They're really going to make you move and feel like you move differently in the golf swing to help you move your biomechanics in the downswing and through impact in a much more successful way. If you have enjoyed it, please click like and share the video. Let, let's share this to other people that will also benefit their golf. 
Also, if you have any feedback, questions, or comments, or requests, please post them down below. I welcome those. I'd also like to thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining me today at the Forest of Arden. I invite you to subscribe or follow me if you haven't already to keep continuing to receive this kind of content. Thanks for tuning in again today. Hope to see you again soon and stay safe.